everyone. Welcome to another Monday movie. I'm Mr. Blue Summers. So this week, I got a question from a viewer on my blog asking about a problem that he was having with some architecture brought in from AutoCAD 2009. And the problem was that there were a lot of transforms that were being applied to that architecture that weren't necessarily um, being stacked up onto the objects. And so that caused all kinds of problems. If you tried to move things or rotate them or scale them, um, everything just kind of exploded and went everywhere. So we resolved the problem using Reset X Forms, and I realized I've never done a full Monday movie talking about transforms and how you can use um, that modifier to really clean up your geometry. So let's take a look here. Um, I've got an ordinary teapot, and there's nothing special about it. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply a transform uh, to this teapot, and then I'm going to show you why that's such a problem. So sometimes you get move problems, sometimes you get rotation problems, but scale on a top level is always uh, a transform that's not stacked. So we'll use scale today. If I take this teapot and I make it 50% taller, right? It's an ordinary operation. It's something you would do without even thinking. What I've done is not modified the actual polygons and vertices within this object, but instead I've told 3D Studio Max take the original teapot and make it 50% taller. This becomes a problem when you start making changes to the pivot of the object. So let me show you how, uh, how to detect this problem. If you go into the hierarchy tab and you go to effect pivot only, and then you grab your rotate gizmo and in this gray area right here between all of the all of the rotation wheels you just kind of grab that gray area and twiddle the pivot your object starts to dance a little bit that's weird so if you look at it you can figure out why this is happening because I scaled the object 50 percent along the z-axis but when I move the direction that the z-axis points I'm changing the direction that the teapot is being scaled in for 50%. And you can do this for all of your objects. Before you begin animating, you should do this. Select all of your objects, go into the hierarchy tab, and under effect pivot only, grab their, grab their pivots and just twiddle them a little bit. And if your objects move at all, you know that there's a problem. And this is a hazard. If you're doing any kind of mechanical rendering, if you've done any scaling at all, even 5%, Sometimes those animation constraints want to change your pivots. And if they do so just a little bit, things won't line up. Things will be skewed, they won't look right, and you won't notice it until all of your auto backups are gone and until all of your backups have been uh, overwritten with new saves. Know how I know that? It's a long story. But the point is that this can be a, quite a catastrophic problem, especially for mechanical renderings. So let me show you how to fix it. If I hop back out here to my teapot, everything looks okay, all right, back to normal. I'm going to go to my utilities tab, and I'm going to go to this reset X form, reset transform button, I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to click on reset selected. And what that's done is it's applied a reset X form modifier to my teapot. Now when I'm on the top level, I've already scaled this now, when I'm on the top level of my modifier stack, Look what happens when I do the, the twiddle test here. Nothing. The teapot stays put. That's because this modifier tells 3D Studio Max, take all of the movement, take all of the rotation, take all of the scaling operations that have been done to this teapot and collapse them together into the original object. Very powerful. It is exactly the tool that fixes this problem. Let me show you how to prevent it. I'm going to take this teapot and I'm going to collapse it into an editable poly. So it's now a 50% taller teapot. Now you've already seen what happens if I scale this teapot um, on this outer level. So I have the whole teapot selected, I've scaled the entire thing down. And you already know that if I then twiddle my, my gizmo, we get the dancing teapot problem. But if I scale only the sub objects. So I've selected everything. I'm going to go select their center. And if I scale them like this, there we go. If I scale them like this, I don't get the same problem. 
it doesn't affect the transforms at all. So this is a critical distinction. If you need to scale an object, especially something complex like this where it has a lot of sub-objects to it, scale the sub-objects, the polygons, the vertices, the elements. Don't scale the, the upper level object like this because that's going to lead to the transform problem that we saw and it's going to bring up the need for applying the XForm modifier to your modifier stack. Thanks for tuning in to another Monday movie. You can find all of my Monday movies as well as tutorials, resources, and downloads at my website www.mrbluesummers.com.